Welcome into 2021 Albany Dutchman Player Introductions. I'm Joey Palatsky, voice of the Albany Dutchman, and today I'm joined by three players joining the Dutchman from Ole Miss. Garrett Wood is a junior infielder at Ole Miss. He's from Claremore, Oklahoma, and prior to Ole Miss, he was a standout at Johnson County Community College, where he batted 331 over the course of two years. Mitch Merle is a sophomore pitcher at Ole Miss. He's from Ocean Springs, Mississippi, and he's made five appearances out of the bullpen at Ole Miss this year including a streak of four and a third scoreless innings over the course of three outings. Luke Lyon is a freshman pitcher at Ole Miss. He's from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and he was the third-ranked pitcher in the class of 2020 in Mississippi. Guys, thanks for coming on today. Yes, sir. Thanks for having us. All right, so first question I have for you guys today. Um, so how did you all end up choosing the Dutchman this summer and spend uh, the 2021 summer in Albany? Um, well, one of our... Our uh, recruiting coordinator and pitching coach, uh, Coach Lafferty, he, uh, he, when we initially started talking about summer ball, this was uh, one of the leagues he really liked. He's sent a lot of guys to over the years, and he all good things to say about it. And I was supposed to come up last year, actually, before uh, everything got shut down, and I was super excited to get to come back this year. Yeah, uh, I think for most of us, it was the same, you know, with Coach Laff um, finding us a place to go. Um, but it helps being able to talk to some former players, um, some Ole Miss players that went there. Um, I think we had three guys uh, a couple of years ago come up to Albany um, and nothing but good things to say about uh, the coaching staff, um, the area, the league, um, just everything. They said it was awesome. So I think we're all pretty excited. Yeah, so uh, next question I want to ask you here, Garrett, it's actually a good segue into this next question. Um, about have any of you guys talked to any of your teammates at Ole Miss? I know it's uh, Justin Bench, Max Trophy, and Logan Savell are all out there, and they're they're all past Dutchman, especially Justin now hitting in the middle of that Ole Miss lineup contributing. Have any of you guys talked to them at all about their their time at the Dutchman? Yes, they they all had very great things to say about the Dutchman. They said they had a great experience, and there was some super good ball up there. Yeah, I talked to uh, Justin probably the most just with us uh, being infielders, spending the most time together at practice and stuff like that. Um, uh, he loved it. I heard he also had a really uh, successful time up there when he played. Uh, I think he got MVP of the team um, when he was there and spent his time in Albany. Uh, so it's been nothing but good things said. Yeah, so now, Garrett, next question I want to get to you here. Uh, so you actually had a uh, you actually went JUCO and played your first two years at junior college. Just talk about your experience with that and how you ended up at Ole Miss eventually. Yes, sir. Uh, it was awesome. Um, out of high school, I was uh, not really highly recruited. Um, went the junior college route, which is what my brother went also. Um, so I had nothing but good things to say about it. Um, so I went to junior college in Kansas um, at Johnson County Community College. Um, played there for two years. Um, it was awesome. Uh, junior college is something um, I would go back to if I could. Um, as much as I love it here, you know, uh, of course, the D1 level is uh, much better. Um, but junior college is awesome. Uh, the friendships, experience, um, and the grind, you know, is what some people call it. Um, but it was a great experience. It led me to this opportunity here at Ole Miss. Um, and it's uh, it's been a blessing for sure. Yeah, Luke, I want to get into you here now. Uh, so I saw your mother and your grandfather both went to Ole Miss. Uh, just talk about you getting an offer from Ole Miss, how special that was to you and now playing there as well. Yes, sir. It, it was a dream come true. And now having the opportunity to play here is it's fulfilling everything. Just now it's time to work and get better. Yeah. So now, Mitch, I saw you were a standout in high school, 0.71 ERA. I think it was 80 some strikeouts and 50 innings. Talk about getting the offer from Ole Miss as well and how, how you decided on going there. Oh, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely awesome uh, being an in-state guy. Uh, definitely meant more to me to come here and compete against schools like Mississippi State and all the other schools you, you grew up watching. But uh, yeah, it was, I didn't grow up and I didn't grow up an Ole Miss fan per se, but I had a lot of family that went here and it was just really special. Yeah, so now one of the things I want that makes Ole Miss so special is Swayze Field. Um, you know, that there's not too many big college baseball atmospheres in New York and the Northeast, uh, say. But um, just talk about playing at Swayze Field, being around there, and how special the atmosphere is down there. Well, it's 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 truly unreal. Uh, everything from the right field showers for home runs to just seven thousand people showing up on average to every game, and then 
when you get a big series, say Arkansas Vandy putting 11 to 12,000 people in the stands, it's just unbelievable for college baseball. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. And you guys want to take that same question? It's uh, it's definitely something you you know you want to experience and be a part of, um, especially coming from junior college. We'd be lucky to have 50 fans, you know, at our games. Uh, so we never really played in front of crowds. Um, and I remember this fall, um, our last inter squad, they allowed fans in um, to the stadium, and uh, that was the most people I ever played in front of then, just for a fall inter squad. And it was probably 500 to maybe a thousand people. Um, so stepping out there in front of 10 to 12,000 people is unreal, um, and it's awesome. Yeah, so next, uh, last question for you guys here. Just coming from down south, I know Garrett, we talked before, the city or Yankees fan. Uh, just for all three of you guys, do any of you guys plan on getting to any of the stadiums up here in the northeast? you got Yankee Stadium, City Field, Fenway, even Camden Yards. you guys plan on getting any of those over the summer while you're up here? I plan on trying to make a trip through Boston at some point. Luke, who's, who's your team? Who's your favorite MLB team? Oh, I know, I know they're not so hot right now, but I like the Marlins. <laughs> okay, so so why Fenway then? Just to, the the history. Just just how cool like the field looks and everything like that. All right, Mitch, Garrett, whichever one of you guys want to take it next. Um, definitely want to go to Yankee Stadium again. I've seen, I watched them play, <clears throat> watched them play the Red Sox uh, a couple years ago in there, and that was electric to say the least. So hopefully, we can make another trip back down. The, back down there so yeah same with me uh with that being my uh favorite team uh it would be a cool experience to go up there and watch uh, those guys play in person at their uh stadium have you guys been to any mlb games before what stadiums you've been to we got any favorites i've been to a couple um i've actually seen the yankees play but it was at uh, kansas city um at royal stadium um there and then the texas teams um but other than that that's it i think uh I mean, I love uh, the new Truist Park in Atlanta, but uh, I think my favorite would probably have to be Coors Field in Denver. That was a uh, that was a really cool place. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today's Dutchman player introductions. The the Ole Miss trio coming up to Albany this summer. Garrett Wood, Luke Lyon, Mitch Morell, guys, thanks for coming on. Thank you, thanks sir. For having us.